The first feature-length movie ever made, The Story of the Kelly Gang, was filmed in Australia. Outdoors, available light, head-on framing. Seven years later, Cecil B. DeMille shot the first Hollywood feature here. Here it is, the Squaw Man. In it, we can see another crucial element of filmmaking that fell into place in these years. A decent man is trying to decide whether to do a good deed. He looks right through a window and sees a young woman who will benefit from the deed. Their eyes meet for a second. He feels her pain and decides to do the good deed. But imagine if DeMille and his camera person had lifted their camera from here, brought it round to the far side of this room and filmed the young woman from over there. The shot of her would have looked something like this. As if she was looking away from the man rather than towards him. And the scene wouldn't have had the same power. It's because their eyes match across the cut, him looking right, her looking left, that they connect emotionally. Filmmakers in these years were discovering that to make it look like people in different shots were looking at each other, or that armies were marching towards each other, the camera had to stay on the same side of an invisible 180 degree line drawn between the two people looking at or talking to each other. Because this rule was new, filmmakers in the late 1910s sometimes broke it by mistake. Later in The Squaw Man, DeMille made such a mistake. A man's dangling from a cliff. He's looking right. The cliff is on the right. But then DeMille goes to the bottom of the cliff to show the man's fall. But he films on the wrong side of the man, so it looks like the cliff has switched to the left of the screen. The shot would have been more spatially clear if it was like this. And to make matters worse, his friends come to the rescue, leaving screen left, but entering the next shot, screen right, as if they've taken a detour to the pub. Once this discovery was made, it was used throughout mainstream cinema. This scene from The Empire Strikes Back an old-style movie made 60 years later shows how enduring the discovery was. Darth Vader is on the left of screen, looking right. His underling, to whom he's speaking, is in a separate shot, looking left. Because of the 180-degree rule, we completely believe that they're looking at each other. 